welcome back to another video guys, it's Jemmy here and today we're going to be doing a video on how to improve your aim in Phantom Forces. Now I've been getting a lot of comments about this and I really want to help you guys out so I'm going to give you basically overall all the steps I went through and you know how it, the process goes in basically getting better in Phantom Forces. So without further ado, let's get right into this guide. Alright, first and foremost, if you want to get better at Phantom Forces in terms of aiming wise, you're going to have to basically configure your computer so that you do not lag at all. Because lag, when you're really high in the FPS, it's really smooth and it makes it easier to aim. That's pretty obvious. However, if you have a low-end PC, you're going to want to do stuff in Roblox Studio. And you can definitely check out my how to increase FPS guides, which will be in the description for your, you know, accessibility. But anyways, uh, in-game, we can just always put the high-fi and low-fi to 3. Those will always help you lag the least. Like, I found these to be the optimal ones. And for here, you can disable everything, but you can also just keep chat enabled and the first person if you like that. But for me, or not for me, for you guys, it really depends on if you want the first person skins or not. I, I would personally turn them off if you lag. But after that, you just press escape, you go to your settings and just drop that all the way down or adjust it until you get more FPS. But other than that, we're going to go into the next step. So for the second step in improving your aim in Phantom Forces, you're actually going to want to change your mouse sensitivity into what you're really used to. And you may say, oh I already have my mouse sensitivity, it's already good. Well, in this case since you're having a hard time aiming, I suggest just restarting all the way from zero again and seeing what you need. So basically, I have a negative three and negative one and it will be completely different for you guys if depending on your computer and how you are as a person. However, by doing this again and recalibrating, and finding something sensitive to you, you can ensure that you have the mouse sensitivity that you know you can train best with. And don't forget to press escape, go to settings, and find the mouse sensitivity in here. If there's something in between here that you want, but you know, it's not perfect, you can always move this around to help you. But basically, once you find that mouse sensitivity that you know you're going to be doing really good with, we can finally go in game and start doing some, what's it called, some exercises that will definitely help you get better. So before we go in game with our new aiming sensitivity, make sure you use a gun that has almost no recoil on it. I personally prefer the M16A3 with the compensator and angled grip at the minimum because this gun has no recoil once you add both of those together. And by having no recoil on your gun, you cannot blame the gun for missing all your shots, it would be you as the player. So make sure you do that and we can finally get in game. Okay, apparently Viticor just joined me in game, so hello bud, you're gonna be on YouTube. So once you find yourself in game with the fast sensitivity you want and the gun that has no recoil, you can basically go out and play and improve your aim that way. But I have some exercises that you guys can do, and these are the ones that I did to get better at aiming. So first off, all you have to do is find something to focus on, which it would be this chair, but since we have vertical, we can do this. And you just want to start strafing and moving your mouse towards your target, and just keep doing that. Keep focusing on your target and make sure that your mouse crosshair is steady on it. If you can't focus on this target easily, or are having a really hard time, then you definitely need to change your mouse sensitivity because that is not an honest one with for you. As you can see here, I'm perfectly keeping my crosshair within the vertical. And if you want to make it really easy for yourselves, if you're just starting off, oh, looks like he's taking out a player, you can go really far back and this will make it easier for you to keep your, what's it called, your crosshair within him. But if you want to challenge yourself and see if you're really good at aiming, you stay really close and keep your mouse on him. You're going to be moving your mouse a lot in left or right, but this is once you get really close, you're basically making it really hard for you. But once you do that, that is basically the first exercise. So basically by doing this, it makes it really easy for you to aim to, at en enemies that are running left or right because you can basically just focus them down. Oh, that's right. You can also do the same thing when aiming down sights, but it's not really that effective since you're already doing the thing. As you can see here, we have two players and they're getting taken out. That's basically our first exercise, we're going to move on to the second one. Alright, so for the next exercise, we're basically going to be running around the map and playing the game as usual, but the thing is, you cannot stop moving at all. Just keep running around and do not stop. Because if you stop, that makes you really vulnerable to enemy players and you won't get used to um, shooting on the move. So let's go practice this exercise right now. As you can see, he's really far away, but we're going to keep moving so we can get used to our, our movement and our um, hand co coordination when aiming at people. So as you can see there, we're side strafing, and this will also help you win more gunfights since people aren't used to shooting to move moving targets. So we're going to keep side, side strafing right there. So you can see we're taking two players out right there. And by practicing this, once again, it'll be really hard for the enemy players to shoot you, 
and you can utilize the moving left to right um, shooting mechanics. So we're out of ammo here. We can still do the same thing with the pistol, but it's going to be much harder. Alright, let's go take out a couple more players, and then we can move on to the next exercise. So, there's no one here. We see a player up here. We're not going to stop moving. We miss him, though. Okay, we'll try this guy. As you can see, we're strafing right, but we still don't stop moving. And, okay, the match is over, so I guess we'll just move on to the next exercise. So for the final exercise of this video, we're just going to be um, drop shotting every time we see an enemy player, and you can do this by pressing control. By doing this, you not only train your vertical uh, recoil, but you can also get the scoop when fighting enemy opponents, because they're usually shooting for your body, and by crouching, or not crouching, going prone, it makes it really hard to shoot where you just were. So we see a red dot here, so we're going to do the drop shot, and we can take him out. And if you practice drop shotting, it will make it easier to get a bunch of kills. But the main point of this is to get uh, used to your vertical um, aiming style. So we take him out, they don't see us. The only problem with this is when they get behind cover because you won't be able to see them based on the camera angle. But as you can see here, we're practicing our vertical recoil. Oh, there's a player that spawned on him and we're getting a bunch of kills. So practice that out and you will definitely get over your vertical aiming thing. But after that, we went over the horizontal, vertical and just moving around mouse movement. So hopefully you guys get better at aiming, and this has been really fun to do actually. The name's Jemmy, and I still... Yeah boy. Yeah boy!